Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this. So the stylized text animation is done entirely using After Effects and the best thing is that you can use any image or any text whatever you want. All this without using any third party plugin. So let's see how to create this. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and let's begin by creating a new composition. So let's go to composition, new comp and I'm going to call this one main. Width and height will be 1920 by 1080, frame rate 30 fps and duration you can pick whatever you want. Just click on OK. Now you can create another composition for your texture. So let's call this one texture and rest of things will remain same. Just click on OK. And under the texture comp, you can just pick whatever image you want. So I'm going to use this Batman or we can use this Captain America. Let me just quickly scale this down. Something like that. So here you can see we have this image. Now you can go to the main composition and over here we can start adding our text first. So for that you can select the text tool. Now just click and type whatever you want. Let's type Thunder and I'm using this Komu font but it's completely up to you. You can pick whatever font you want. Just make sure that it's a little bit bolder so that the texture will look nice. Now once you're done with this, let's align it to the center using the align panel. So let me just quickly do that. Now also let's place its anchor point in the center. So you can select the layer, hold on the control key and double click on this. Now let's select this, press S to scale this down. Something like that. So here we have our text. Now let's quickly add our texture. So I'm going to drag this texture comp and I'm going to just apply a couple of effects onto this. So let's select this and first I'm going to apply a tint. So I want to convert this into a black and white image. So let's apply tint. Perfect. Let's apply curves. So let's drag it over here. Now we can play around with the curves later on. And after that, I'm going to apply threshold, CC threshold. So let's search for CC threshold and let's drag it over here. Now you can see that it will turn our image into black and white. Now you can play around with the CC threshold and you can just play around with its value. So you can just make it however you want, but we can just tweak these values later on. So for now, we can probably hide this. Now I'm going to select this text layer, which we have over here. And on this one, we are going to apply displacement map. So let's search for displacement map and let's drag it over here. Now under the displacement map layer, I'm going to select the texture. Let's select the effects and mask. Let's quickly change the use horizontal displacement and the vertical from luminance. After that, we can play around with these values. But first, let's play around with a couple of these values. So over here, we are going to set this to stretch map to fit. And after that, make sure that this option is checked. Now we can uncheck the expand output for now. Now you can select the text, you can press S. And if I increase this up, you can see that we have this very large text. Now let's make this something like that. Now we can start playing with these values. So I'm going to just change these to something like negative 1000. So let's set this value to negative 1000 as well. So here you can see we are able to see the texture. Now we can add keyframes for these values and now we can select the layer, press U. Now let's go to somewhere around two seconds and I'm going to set both of these values to zero, something like that. Now we can do one more thing. We can select this, press S and let's add a scaling animation. Let's select and press U. Now at this point, I want this to scale down to whatever value we have, something like that. Now you can select all of these values, press F9 to easy ease them, or you can just right click, go to keyframe assistant, easy ease. Let's go to the graph and if your graph looks different, make sure you're using the speed graph, not the value graph. Now let's change the graph to look like this. So if I play back, here you can see we have created this sort of animation and now we can tweak this further. So let's select this, press U. Now I'm going to move these keyframes a little bit ahead. So before we continue, if you really want to help me out, then you can check out my Patreon page and your support over there really helps me to create some amazing content for you guys. So all the details are in the description. Also make sure to like and subscribe. So let's continue. And I want this to have more of Y rotation. So for that, we can just increase the vertical displacement. So I'm going to just set this to negative 10,000. Now, if I play back, here you can see we have more of vertical animation over here. Perfect. And at last we have our text. So we are pretty much done with this. Now we can play around with the texture as well. So let's select this. Now over here, there are a couple of things that you can do. You can first play around with the threshold. So you can just make it however you want. Now this is something that you can play around. So you can just pick whatever you think looks good. Now over here we have the curves. So you can play around with the curves as well. And you can just make it however you want. So I want a little bit of texture over here as well. 
so somewhere around here now we can play around with this value as well so if i increase this up here you can see we are able to see our character now if i play back here you can see we have our text going back to its original position perfect now there are a couple of things that you can do over here as well so first we can just add a one more copy of this texture so let's select this and let's place it between these layers now on this one i'm going to apply tint let's drag the tint over here so that this is black and white now i'm going to select this let's apply exposure so just search for exposure and let's drag it over here now i'm going to lower down its value to something like that now you can select this press t and i'm going to just lower down its opacity quite a bit so that we have a little bit of this image visible after the text has revealed now it's completely up to you. if you don't want the tint then you can have colors just simply remove this something like that but if you want to have black and white look then just apply the tint perfect so we have this now if you want to have more colors in the text then you can just simply select this layer press ctrl d and on this one you can apply fill so let's search for fill and let's drag it over here now instead of red you can just play around with whatever color you want so let's pick this nice pink color now we can place this layer below this text now you can see that both of these are overlapping so we can just add a little bit of delay to this so let's select this press u now let's zoom in and we can just add a little bit of delay so like couple of frames and just extend this so now if i play back here you can see we have this very nice color and you can see that we have the texture revealing as well so at last our text will form up perfect now if you want to have a little bit of animation in the image then you can just do that over here so let's add a keyframe let's move this further and let's increase its scale over here so that we have this very subtle scaling down animation so now if i play back here you can see we have the scaling animation visible here as well now if you want to replace the text or the image it's very simple all you have to do is just go inside this com and you can just pick whatever image you want so for example i have this batman so i can just place it wherever you want you can just play around with the scale now if i go back here you can see we have changed the texture and you can see that all the texture is visible inside this text as well now changing the text is again very easy just double click on this and you can type whatever you want just copy this and just paste it onto the second layer now you can change the color on the second layer as well so now if i play back here you can see we have created this animation for our new text and the image so this is how you can create these kind of stylized image so the project files for this tutorial is available on Patreon. So if you're supporting me over there, then you can download it from there. And in case you are not, then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on Patreon. So with that being said, my name is Abhishek and I'll see you in the next one.